What's happening? We're back for another video. Today's a big day uh, because the Derry under 20s are playing in the Ulster final against Tyrone up in Armagh. Um, I've been lucky enough to be working with the Derry under 20s now since like September, October time, along with their main strength conditioning coach, and uh, spent a lot of time with the lads. Great group. So really excited to see how today goes for them. Um, the game's not to 6 o'clock, so it's now like coming up to 12. So I'm going to go down to the pitch, go and practice a few kickouts. Not do too much because we've got a game on Wednesday, um, but really just practice a few kickouts and stretch legs and then uh, get ready to go to this game. Hopefully we can bring an Ulster title back to Derry. Got some new boots there uh, this week from retroboots.ie retro on Instagram. This is old school Predator Power Swerves, black and red. Fucking classics. They're class, like kangaroo leather on it. Really nice so far. I was around them the other night. Just pinging them over from everywhere now. Was a, a long day um, with uh, with under twenties. Unfortunately, they didn't they didn't win. Um, really disappointing result. Like I, I thought beforehand, they definitely had it, but it was just one of them days where things didn't go right. And I think that's that's football and that's life. But um, the the experience of of being able to work with that under twenty group over the past nearly a year now um, has been amazing. You know, the players are. As people are great, great attitudes when it comes to training and showing up and just genuinely really, really nice people and um, I'm really disappointed for them because they've they've really worked hard this year and you probably, you know, you don't understand until you go up to one of them setups to see how much work they've put in and it's disappointing for them, disappointing for them um, and the management too, you know, the management, all really nice people, um, me coming up there you know, and part of the internship, I've got nothing but, you know, support and help and guidance up there. And it's been really, really good. Like, um, it's just this point we couldn't get over the line today, but, but yeah, at this point we couldn't get over the line, but it's just the way these things go. Um, but I know with that group of players, they'll, they'll come back strong because they're, they've got, they've got a really good attitude. And I think that's one thing you find if, if the attitude's there, and the skill which all them boys have, they'll go far. So it's a small stumbling block on a hopefully a long road for them. But if any of the lads are watching, these are fucking class. These are a credit to yourselves. Really disappointed for you, but you should still be proud. Um, but yeah, and that's actually my my internship with Derry, uh, the strength condition internship finished up for the till next season basically. But it's been you know really really good like it. Like I thought I knew a lot about strength conditioning before I went up there and realised I didn't even have a fucking clue. Um, our main strength conditioning coach, John McMahon, and then you know the, the actual football coaches himself. What I've learned over the past year has been been amazing. Like um, so much so that I'm going to do it again next year because every time I go up there, I'm learning something which I think is so important. And I think no matter what field or industry you're in trying to learn off people that are smarter than you and they're in the position that you want to be in at some stage is is really important and that's what I've been getting up here so yeah I'm really looking forward to next season again and working with all those teams and hopefully learning some learning some more and hopefully bring some some trophies back to the area but yeah it's been a good experience um so we're in the gym here now um today is Monday I have a game on Wednesday night so with the game being on Wednesday, it kind of changes up my, my program for the week because usually preparing for the game coming up on the weekend. So I'm going to kind of adapt things slightly. So this being two days out from the game, my plan is to do a wee bit of kind of potentiation work. So a couple of jumps, a couple of sprints, um, maybe some trap bar jumps. 
nothing you know crazy in terms of just kind of excite the nervous system we actually have training at night as well so um then it'll be enough lower body work and then i'm going to do some upper body work so i'm just going to follow my usual upper body strength uh, session which is based around the bench and some chin-ups some uh, overhead pressing and uh yeah we'll see how that goes so i'm going to take you through this workout and then that'll be us for today Session done, upper body strength work, kind of went heavy and everything, but didn't do a ton of sets or volumes or volume on it. Um, really focusing on that bench press there at the minute, trying to bring it back up. But uh, could be session. It's tough though, it's tough motivating yourself to try and push easy through these sessions. And it's just me here, and uh, like I said before, when you're in here so much, I love, okay, I love this place. And, very fortunate to have it. It's like any workplace, you sometimes want to get away from it, so that was a tough one getting through that today, but we got through it anyway. Have a bit of turkey and a race with me to eat here. Got clients in there at four o'clock, it's just going 10 to three, so have to eat, shower, prep their sessions, and then we have training tonight. It's tough, it's tough, but it's good. It's good, it's better that way than, than being comfortable and doing nothing. So yeah, see you in the next one. The next one should be good. I'll probably do a match day, match day prep video on Wednesday. See you then.